Hey guys, welcome to part B of your YouTube Halloween homework special, I guess. Uh, your secret word today on this part is zombie. And your answers for 1, 2, 3, and 4 are negative 6, negative 2, 10, negative 41, negative 18, negative 24, negative 99, negative 1003. Then negative 51 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 feet above sea level, and negative 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Stick around if you need to go over any of these. Alright, so at this point, most of you guys are solving these problems using open number lines. Um, but some are still struggling with it a little bit and like to use a closed number line. And again, either one is fine with the larger numbers. It probably makes more sense to move to an open number line. Um, so for this one, it says 6 minus 12. Think of this as elevator directions. We're starting on the sixth floor. Subtraction means we're going down, and we're going down 12 floors. So if we're starting at 6, I know that that's above 0, and then... I'm going to jump down exactly to the foyer, or to zero. And then, uh, we're kind of breaking up this 12. We've broken it up into a 6, and now another 6. So we go down 6 more, and this first answer should be negative 6. And again, if it's tricky on the open number line, use a closed one. Starting at 6, going down 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 gets us to 0, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lands us at negative 6. Number 2 says negative 5 plus 3, so that's like being on an elevator that's 5 floors down in the basement, and the addition sign means we're going up 5. Um, a strategy that Kersey uses all the time is she likes to place zero on the number line just so she knows where, where it's going to be at. And I know that zero is going to be somewhere up here. And if we're at negative five and we go up three, we're not going to get to zero. Um, but we are going to get closer to it, so in a way these numbers are going down. Um, and that's why you should get negative two. And again, if you were uncertain, you could have started at negative five and gone up one, two, three to see that the answer is negative 2. For number 3, it says negative 2 plus 12. So for this one, again, I'm going to do an open number line. And we're starting at negative 2. And the addition means we're going up. And since we're going up 12, I know that we're going to pass 0. And this answer should be positive. So first, I'm just going to go up to 0. And then... It's like we broke the 12 up into a 2, and then we have a 10 left over. So now I'm going to go up by 10, and that gets us to positive 10. So this answer should be 10. And again, you could have done this on the closed number line. I'm not going to for the rest of these. Um, this last one, number 4, says we start at negative 40, and we go down. So, okay. We go down 1. Here's negative 40. Using Kersey's strategy, I know that 0 is somewhere up over here. And if we're going down, that means we're moving farther away from 0. So if we started 40 floors away from 0 and we go down another one, now we're 41 floors away from 0. So that's why this answer is negative 41. All right, for number 5, um, this is like an elevator starting on the 12th floor, and we're subtracting, so we're going down, and we're going down a total of 30. So I'm going to start by putting 12 here. I'm going to think like Kersey and put 0. I know it's going to be down here. Um, and then you can go down however you want to break up the 30. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break 30 up into 12 and 18, because I know 12 is going to get me right down to 0. And then, all I have left to go down is 18, and that would get me to negative 18. And again, if you broke it up differently and you still got negative 18, that's great. 
for number 6, we're starting at negative 16. And since we're subtracting, we're going down, and we're going to go down 8. And just to sort of like a cursey check-in, I know that 0 is up over there. So if we go down 8, it's sort of like these numbers are going up because you're getting farther away from 0. So you should end up with negative 24. All right, for number 7, again, this one would be crazy to do on a closed number line. It would take forever. Um, if we're starting at negative 100, and just as a reference point, I know that 0 is up over here, and we're going to go up 1. That means that it's an arrow, plus 1. That means we're getting closer. We're getting closer to the foyer. And instead of being 100 floors underground, now we're negative 99 floors. So this should equal negative 99. Okay. And finally, for number 8, this would be insane if you drew out every number, and it just helps to think about it. Here's negative 1,000. I know that 0 is going to be way up here somewhere. And then if we're subtracting, it means we're going down further into the basement. And if we're 1,000 floors away from 0 and we go down 3 more, now we're 1,003 floors away. So negative 1,003 is your final answer. All right, on the back, I wanted you to use an open number line strategy and write a numeric expression. Um, so for this one, it says the temperature one afternoon is negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. That, e that evening, it decreases by another 36 degrees. What's that evening's temperature? So on an open number line, and I do it vertically, but it's up to you. Um, we're starting at negative 15. And then it says that evening it decreases. And some students are forgetting the difference between increase and decrease. And the way that I like to, I still remember it to this day, is decrease starts with D, and D is for down. So that means in this case, um, the temperature is actually going down 36 degrees. And I want to break up that 36. You know, I'm going to go down in 20, and a 10, and a 6. So if I go down 20, that gets me to negative 35. Go down 10 more, gets me to negative 45. And go down a final 6, that gets me to negative 51. And again, the numbers are going up because I know that 0 is over here. And so the temperature on this day starts off below zero and then just goes further and further down. So it's really, really cold at the end of it. Um, all right, so let's write an expression that represents this problem. We started at negative 15, and then we went down a total of 36. So that's like negative 15 minus 36. But I broke up this 36. So really, the expression that matches what I did is negative 15 minus 20, that's what we did right here, then minus 10, that's what we did right here, and minus 6, that's what we did to finish it. And it would be cool if you guys could also evaluate this expression going from left to right. And we kind of already did, because when we did negative 15 and we went down 20, we landed on negative 35. And then I bring down the rest of our expression. This is me using order of operations, just going left to right for all subtraction. Um, after that, we did negative 35, and we went down another 10. We got negative 45. I'm going to bring down the minus 6. And finally, we did negative 45, down 6 more, and we ended up at negative 51. And each one of these is called an expression, and they represent how um, I solved the problem. Maybe you solved it different, and you have a different expression. Okay, and ugh, these guys are going to follow me anywhere. But okay, Ms. Lugo is scuba diving on vacation in Mexico. She starts 28 feet below sea level. After seeing a shark, she swims up 42 feet. Where is she now? Um, so a few of you, I would say 10 in the grade on the quiz, 
read this, but probably didn't think about what below sea level meant. I know it, right now it looks like it's a positive 28, but below sea level, that's represented by a negative integer. So this problem actually starts at negative 28 feet because it's below sea level. And now uh, Ms. Lugo is swimming up. So we're going to go up. And since she's going up 42, I know that we're going to pass 0. So to make life easy, I know that this is the problem, tw negative 28 plus 42. But I'm going to break that 42 up into a 28 and whatever's left over, which I think would be 14. So I'm going to start by going up 28 to get to 0. And then I'm going to go up 14 more to land at 14 feet below zero, or above zero, my bad. Um, all right, you're gonna move now? Thank you, sir. Um, so the expression is negative 28 plus 42, but to represent what I did, it was negative 28 plus, and then I broke this 42 into a 28 and a 14. And at kind of a higher level, if you want to evaluate it to see what it equals, when we did negative 28 plus 28, we got 0. And then all that we had left from 0 was to go up 14 more. And so we ended up with an answer of 14 feet. And again, this is an expression, this is an expression, this is an expression. Any line of math is called an expression. Okay, and... Oh my god, seriously, this again? At least the ghost is small. Yeah, you gonna move? You gonna move? I gotta go over one problem, ghost. One problem. Thank you, sir. Alright, the temperature was 20 degrees Fahrenheit on Saturday and then decreased 43 degrees on Sunday. Uh, Alright, this kind of brings us back to decrease. That has the D in it, which means that it's going down. Um, so we're going to start at 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to go down. Um, I'm going to go down to zero first, which gets us to down 20. And then I know that we have 23 left to go down, which gets us to negative 23. Oh my god, that's so creepy. <laughs> Sorry, I want to go over this last one, guys, but my computer's kind of taking me over. Yeah, that's not helping. Can you get away from me? How are you coming out of my iPad right now? Uh, I'll see you for the last part, guys.